we're live as live can be. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're not going to do no all that. There's no dancers. Well, that's not <laughs> true. Look at you. Oh, okay. Dun, 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 not quite the same. Dun, dun, dun. It's better. And, and we have Sophie. She'll dance. Or maybe not. <laughs> so here we are, ladies Good and gentlemen. Good morning. Look at that. The Bob Duell Show is live now. We Walk are. with us Wednesday. So we'll be doing some walking here. We but shall. first we are... Under a real tree. So... Mundarafa key tree and all that, but this uh -huh. is a real tree. Yes. And we are, of course, at the park as evidenced by Ooh. the fact that this is still, still the, the hill. hill. And we've got a lovely day, but you'll notice that the, the unlike the past few times we've been here, there is a nobody no here. I'm... I mean, there's a few people walking their dogs like over this way, but all that crazy activity we've been having it's, out here. Wow, it's just dead. It's like somebody, they sent out a, okay. Do you hear the? See, this is why I don't own a dog anymore. <laughs> I love the cuteness and the uncontent. Look at that face. I mean, who wouldn't she love that? She's so precious, but yes. This. Um, but yeah, she's you know, whiny. Ooh, I don't. I don't need that anymore. Yes. You know it's 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 a lot of responsibility and but a lot yeah. of love. Well, it is, but I just you know, I just yeah. I, I I thought I was ready. Guess what? I'm not. So this is good <laughs> to test out dogs. That's right. We get to give this one back because we're just watching a quote unquote a for a friend. Yes. No, we seriously are. But she obviously wants to walk, walk. around. So let's <laughs> let's. Uh, okay, we'll walk. She must it's have read the. Yeah. She must have read the description of the show. And she's like, "Oh, we're not sitting." All right, we're. Okay, keys. Okay, I'm gonna help you stand up. Oh no, I'm because good. I'm a. Oh. Here, I just want to make sure you get all of your pocket belongings. See, there's our freeze frame for the show. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, hold on. So, yeah, she's 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 really kind of in, oh. in passion. I think that's how they say okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna hold that for one second. In France, so let's. You know what? While we're here, we've never really quite done this. Let's have an interview with our tree. This oh, is, this yeah, is, uh, that's a good idea. His name is Tree E. Weird name, but I mean, what are the odds? Everybody else is like Cliff, Frank, um, Miguel. And, and we happen to sit under the one that's called tree -y. Tree. -y. Yeah. So and you can't just say tree because it gets mad. I know. I said tree -y. Do you hear what I'm talking about? It's crazy. So, but so tree -y. So how, how did that come about? That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. How, so are we asking him? Yes. Or it's her? a him. Okay. Is it him? Tree-y. Sure. It's a tree-y. Tree. It's a guy. So anyway, so yeah, we're the name. Oh, it's just a parental thing. It's on this birth certificate. Oh, I see. With the park district. But uh, he's he's declined to answer any more questions. But look at the beautiful texture. We just want to such a to acknowledge tree. your uh, you know. Look your, at this really cool knot. Your magic. Oh, you see, see, he's embarrassed about that. And we're saying it makes you unique and beautiful. And he's like, I can't even go go anywhere because I'm so embarrassed. Maybe. And we're like, come on, tree. All right, sorry. He doesn't like me talking about his business. No, and Sophie desperately wants to All go All right, for a so walk. let's go for a walk. Okay, we're going for a walk. Because we're not going to run into anybody. We do have masks, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you keeping <laughs> score. They just happen to be in our pockets right now. Kevin says he's, he's ready for a fly with us Friday. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that, yeah, it's about time. I know. I want to go travel. You want to go home. I want to go home, and then I want to go see your babies. My grandchildren, just to be clear, everybody. Okay. <laughs> well, yes, but, you know, your children Yes, as well, yes. But. but I was just telling Catherine yesterday, my oldest daughter, how much we appreciate the fact that we have things like Marco Polo and oh, other kind of, of communications technology, because we get to talk to them every day. Did you see the hummingbird? <gasps> oh, I love hummingbirds. And there's another one. There's a whole cluster. Hold on, let's see. Oh, beautiful. For spacious <gasps> skies yes! and amber waves of grain. Sorry, I can't zoom in because Tracy made me hold this oh, water. Oh, I got the water. Oh, just flew away. Oh, just flew like, by. Look, Did look, you? Look, look, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, my gosh. It's a carnival. It's a carnival. Yeah, there's like, oh, my uh, heavens. Oh, wow, there's there like really is a bunch of them. of them. It's like a swarm of bees. You can't, I don't know that you can tell, but they're all the way across the field. There really is. There's like there a whole really mess is. of them. <gasps> oh, oh. Okay, so now if I hold my finger out. Wait, there's one in the tree right there. Can I know, see? I saw. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so fast. If I just hold my finger out long enough, 
they will all say, look at that guy holding out his finger thinking we're going to land. Do you see them all? <laughs> there's, there, there's so I've many never seen. They're all over. They're all over here, too. It's like, the, you know what? Look. Okay. Okay. Hold on. We're having an event. Where is the freaking camera? Okay. We're seriously having an event. They're always, they're, they're all over the place. They are. It's literally like a swarm of hummingbirds. It's and I, they're so small, they don't really show up well. But over here, I mean, I can't, oh my God, this is insane. Oh, Let's yeah. just, just try to see them. Oh, that's me again. They were all, it was just a bunch of, there's, I don't know if you can see, but I mean, I see like one, two, three, four, five, and just in my line of vision. And they're flying all over the place. They're hovering all above oh, the ground. They are. They're all over there too. Again, I just can't zoom in enough, but. And hopefully the resolution, but as far as you can see, yep. they I would think that they were bees or insects before, but they're not. They move so fast. I have never seen anything like this. No. It's literally swarms of, of hummingbirds. I'm so happy. It was my favorite thing when moving to Vegas was hummingbirds because we don't have those in Chicago or Michigan. Okay, Sophie sees a dog. Or if we do, I never saw any. I know they can't hear you. You're oh, a mile away from the phone. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot you were with us there for a second. Oh, that's okay. so, oh, say hi. So they're all, they're everywhere. <laughs> Good morning. I don't know. Uh, oh, so this is nice. Friend. Yay. It's <laughs> good. Oh, they're so sweet. I love it. All right, there you go. <laughs> have a good <laughs> one. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> all right, Sophie, don't be so. <laughs> See now, she's all like. <laughs> she found she a friend. She wants to be social, of course. Well, now we know. We weren't sure about like her temperament at the park and with other dogs because she's not our dog, but. And she does. Obviously, okay, she's so just a sweetheart. Amy says she wants me to come home, too. Yes, that would be lovely. Okay. So, any comments on the hummingbirds? I mean, they're, they're just everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. Can somebody comment and let us know if you can even see them or if you're just staring at grass? Because we have no idea. Okay, so, this is such a conundrum. Oh, no, you? that's a dragonfly. Um, oh, that is a dragonfly. So, it's a dragonfly and hummingbird... Uh, Festival. Maybe some of these were humming or were. Uh, it's a festival. Were dragonflies. Like maybe those are dragonflies over there. Those are too small or too big or well, mm, hard to say. Well, now we're confused. We, there's definitely a cluster of hummingbirds, but I think we've also got some dragonflies going. Like this guy's just coming right up to oh. look at that. I, I missed it, but it flew right up to us. What? There's another. There's another. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, there's a bunch of dragonflies too. How beautiful. What an awesome day. It's the hoverer convention. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Do you see oh! that? I bet if, I, if we stand still, maybe they'll land. I've had that happen. I was at the Whitney Ranch and I had like, I don't know. Okay, so we've got hummingbirds flying around in a cluster way over there and humming in the... They're so close. They've got to be able to see these. Yeah, I'm sure they can see these. They're all around us. <gasps> oh, this is so great. And then things went horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's a new dragonfly. Yes. They were thought to be Jason hopping as says, a positive transformation. He can finally comment. Yes, I can see the hummingbirds. Oh, good. I could see them when they flew. Nice. Yeah. Cool. I should we go walk? Golf? Golf. Can you golf? <laughs> I can't even talk to you. Okay, number one, I can't golf. Okay. Number two, this isn't a golf course. Number I three, we forgot our golf never clubs. Really golfed. Me either. I've Except, done miniature you know, golf. Exactly, me too. I've done it in VR. I have a great golfing VR simulation. Oh. N not mini golf, but full on golf where you feel like you're on. Judith! Hi, honey. Oh, we I need held to Held her talk. attention. There's that Quinn. Um, yes. She says, I saw dragonflies um, when she went swimming in the river on Saturday. That's luscious. I want to go swimming. See, in now the there, hold on. God, I can't turn this fast enough. There, there was a. There's just swarms. There of was them. just a big hummingbird right Can, yes. in front of us, too. 
So here's more of the dragonflies. I can't turn this thing fast enough. Saw a glimpse of one, Judith says. This is, it's just so just beautiful, stay you guys. Still. I really wish that you could yeah, see this. You know, it's its like the moon when you have just a, Right, this great gorgeous. shot and it just doesn't translate. Never. Or like watching videos of me in VR. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the one this morning that we did the other day with the, uh, or no, I guess I did it. You went around the petting zoo. Basically, he was walking through nature treks and pointing at dinosaurs and stuff. Yeah. And I'm watching, and I'm just going, you know, this is just video of guy <laughs> seeing, you know, playing, not even that realistic game. looking. <laughs> it's just not, it's just, just does not translate at all hmm. to like pet the elephant and all that stuff. I mean, it's just like all they're seeing is. An a invisible butt. hand, no less. <laughs> right. And, 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 a, and an elephant butt, exactly. Oh my gosh. Lee's Beth, good morning. Oh, mom says she has dragonflies in her yard. I don't remember dragonflies growing up. Yeah, we're walking through like a whole nest of dragonflies right now. They're just all around us. They're, yeah, and they're swarming. So, so, so interesting. Hummingbirds and dragonflies. Just going nuts. Yeah, the hoverers. I mean, like their mm. wings go so fast that you can't even tell that they're flying. And it looks like they're even keeping social distancing. Oh, ooh, yeah. Well, they're getting pretty close. Can we maybe, well, I don't I know. I want to go someplace in the shade. Yeah, me too. Well, okay. go sit on the bench. Oh, maybe. bench? Well, that's in the sun. Is it? I yeah. can't tell if I'm on Sorry, you guys. I lost control of my camera skills for a second there. Well, this is definitely in the shade. That feels better. It's pretty warm, I have to say. Do we know what the temperature is supposed to be today? 108. Oh, like that. yay! 108. Yeah, so I definitely wanted to get out here early. She always does that. Dog uh, leash yes. stuff. So, what's the topic of the show today? I don't think there is one. We're just, We're walking. just walking. But I do, I did notice something. This is going to be like. So, you know, we've talked about. <laughs> oh, no. Like when we come back, like if I come back from a trip. Yeah. And I've been gone for a while. And I walk into my house, and then there's that smell. And it's like, okay, this is Your the smell? Bob Doyle smell. This is, my, this is what my apartment smelled like when I lived alone for a while a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so I know that when there's no other person in the mix or whatever, that there's this smell that's in the house. Now, I get used to it, like, within minutes, okay. right? And then yeah. I don't smell it anymore. But, like, when we came back from the UK and all that, I walk in and I go... Oh yeah, and that and I realize everybody smells this. It's like cat litter. <laughs> you don't but smell it. But it doesn't smell pungent. I hope. No, no. Well, I, no, I. I mean, not like cat litter. Well, but but so. Right. Can I, can I share that you're? Ah, well, I, I sometimes I worry that the smell of my house goes home with me. Goes home with her, to her house, and so they, her kids smell the Bob Doyle smell oh, on her and it just doesn't work for them. <laughs> I love how your brain works. Well, I mean, so the reason I said that is because, you know, last night we had a friend over and we were sharing the channel last night oh, yes. and had dinner. Our friend Judy. Our friend Judy Morio. And, um, we love her. And, and we, we closed off, we just closed the door to my studio, which is where I work most of the time. That's, it's the closest thing to a man cave, right? Uh-huh. So, so it definitely is going to have the Bob Doyle smell. And we closed it off last night just so we didn't have to clean up in there. You know the drill. You guys know what life is. Because it's a man kit. There's wires and we don't need to talk about this. <laughs> but anyway, this morning, so then we did the whole night and this morning. And so this morning I get up and I'm walking in and I walk into that room and I'm hit with the Bob Doyle smell. <laughs> really? Because it had gotten, I guess, stuck in there or something overnight. And the rest of the house just adapted oh to all of goodness. all of us having a dog and everything. And I walked in there and it was just like... Wow, it is pretty much your room. I'm in there occasionally, but not so much. Well, we're working on that. That, that yeah. room's going to change because that's probably going to be our new studio? studio, which was our original studio. And then we moved into the Luscious Lounge and now we're going to probably go back in there. And... Who oh, knows? No. <laughs> not us. Okay, Jason says today's topic is dragonflies in the park. Perfect. That's what I'll go back and title this. Yeah, there you go. Well, dragonflies and hummingbirds. Dragonflies. I mean, the hummingbirds are the most startling thing, but then the number of dragonflies, well, both of them, it's crazy. Yeah, there's just, it, there's a lot. 
you can probably, you may be able to see them flying in the background back there because they're, they, they're just they're all they're swarming. swarming. It's so pretty. Very interesting. I love it. So the question is, do you guys ever get hit with your own smell? <laughs> And when are you, you come back by from it a place, or is and do it you go, uh, comforting? Yeah, I, and th th that's actually because like, like I, I come home and it smells like home, and it's home, right? So it just smells good to me. But you know, I, I'm conscious because you know you go to other people's houses and they smell like them. Well, so you know how aroma is such a time traveler, right? right? Like you smell, and we're going to talk about this on third on Friday. We are. We're talking about smells on Friday on Luscious, so this is actually so a perfect time. So we may reprise this bit of conversation. Mm -hmm. But I never had the, I never knew what the Bob Doyle smell was alone until like 2004 when I spent some time living alone. alone. And so then I would come back from shopping or whatever and I go, wait a minute, this place has this smell. And then when I, when the same situation happened later, I realized, okay, I carry this I carry this around with me and so does everybody else and where was I going with this oh no because because <laughs> because when I every time I smell it now I'm immediately taken back to that first time when I was alone for a while oh, sure. and everything around that everything I was doing and it's just like it's a because that's the first reference I have of that smell because before that it's college roommates before that I mean you know oh, marriage sure. and then you know I never really lived alone I have not ever lived alone. Ever. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? I've never lived alone. I, not, not that I want to, but I have just never, you know, I, even when I was, you know, single mom, I had children. Is there anybody else watching who has never lived alone? Yeah. I kind of always had the thought that I would like to because then everything was in its place and nobody else messed up with my stuff. And if I left a mess, I left a mess. I'm not, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. I mean, Cause I've lived alone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like there, there is something kind of appealing about that, but obviously not. Cause otherwise I probably, well, I, don't, I, I wouldn't have done it. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I went from my mom's house to my grandmother's house to my aunt's house to my grandmother's house to, you know, to an apartment with roommates, to living with Ray, and then children. There you go. Never alone. Never alone. Fascinating. It is. So it's I don't know what my smell is. I think it would be hmm. a lot of aromatherapy stuff. <laughs> I think that it would be maybe lavender and jasmine, you know, or, uh, or non-champa. Isn't that interesting? Because... We may never know. We may never know. What just the Tracy by herself, like your room probably at your place probably is the closest thing. I would say you're right. But you still have the dog and the kids in and out every, occasionally, but that... No, I have the dogs. The children do not go in my room. They never... Okay, so there you go. They don't. So that's no how we does. can probably gauge. Interesting. <laughs> Let's walk her. Okay. She's freaking... Okay, she's all tangled up. I know, it's because she wants to go, 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 go. Yeah. I, I don't know. We, we don't on, have guys. enough hands. This, you know what? I am so uh, glad. Peter says living alone can get boring. Okay, you need to. Okay, or I'm hooked. No, well, nope, it's still she's under still... one freaking. Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay, now we can walk. Oh, okay. Now, of course, as a, someone in charge of a dog, we have one goal this morning. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm talking about? Like, there's something she hasn't yet done. She did it last night, though, so she may not. That she, that I would very much appreciate if she would go ahead and oh, get. Okay, she's being update for you there. So that's good because walking her at our place is terrible because there's, there's no, no grass, there's no sidewalk, there's, there's nothing. No, it's just yeah. rocks and hot pavement. Yeah. So it's an ordeal. We have to do it early in the morning and then late, later in the evening and try futilely during the day to get her to do anything. And now she's got grass, which is yes, making her very happy. Yeah, she's everywhere. So. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my heavens. Something else I noticed this week. What's that? So, you know, I like to do dishes. Uh-huh. Yeah, not, we all I, love to do dishes. I don't love it, but I mean, yeah, it's I like once I get started, it's a nice whatever. And yeah, I'm it's a the task dishwasher. I enjoy it's doing sort too. of a... Because there's this whole beginning, middle, and end to a sense of accomplishment. There's yes. a lot of dopamine hits in doing dishes. I agree. But the, the first hit of, like, I don't want to do this sucks. Okay, no, no, no. Um, 
I was noticing when you were putting dishes away the other day that the sound of the dishes clanking was making me crazy. Like I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. It was like so loud. It was like Nails so, but or were well, yeah, yes, up there, up there. It was just like so uh, every clank, and but when I do it, it's more of a there's almost a satisfaction to the clanking. Fascinating. So, but I think I, I bet you it comes down again to control because it's a pretty loud sound. With, over which I have no control. It's like, Nobody and it's just, right, just yeah. going to keep happening. But if I'm doing it, I'm going to know when the sound's going to come and I can make it quieter or whatever. So, yeah, sound. Yes. <laughs> Wait. My okay. guess is the 300 list, number one and two here, have a different meaning. Okay, what does that mean? I don't know. Uh, well, we're. Oh, one about. and two. Oh! Okay, I get it. <laughs> yes, definitely a different meeting. Which today, join us at 11 a.m. Pacific for the hashtag 300 wishlist. Yeah. We will be live and talking. <laughs> <laughs> at you. <laughs> oh, my heavens. How many of you participate in those? Yeah, Four, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, Peter That's joins 12, us, I know, 30, and Amy and... Uh, Jason and I'm not sure who else Sandy is on sometimes Judith comes does, on. Yeah. Judith will pop on. Mm-hmm. Medea. You know. But it's just this fun little check-in we do every Wednesday at eleven over in the hashtag three hundred wish list group. Mm-hmm. Where we're all about helping you make your dreams come true. <laughs> it's fun. We love it. Okay, this is loud. Yeah. I wonder how annoying that is to these people. Is that annoying? Like maybe to him it's satisfying, to us it's annoying. Well, why don't we walk the... Uh, Alright, we'll just... That's better. I'm sure we're pretty close to a half hour. Um, we have five more minutes. <gasps> Look now at you, you with get a, it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Look at you with a timepiece. I love it. Well, so it is, again, well, except for the fact that my phone. arm is really getting tired. It is very nice to be out here. It is. In the shade, it's lovely. Not many people. No. And uh, I will just say this yesterday, because I don't, as we've discussed, Tracy does most of the outings. She's just freaking taking it for the team and doing grocery shopping and just ridiculous amounts of stuff that I should be doing. <laughs> She's pooping, so we have the other show. Oh! Well, don't show. That's... I wasn't going to show the, the, you know... Okay. Uh, crap, what was I going to say? Tracy. Stuff. Oh, yeah. But yesterday, we did uh, run an errand together. And I went to the grocery store. Just being again. Awesome. I uh, went to the grocery store, and it's just so surreal. Yeah. To see little kids right in masks. masks. Just. Everywhere. And, like, that that's normal. That's going to be normalized for them. And it's like, you know if this sticks around, that. And masks, I, I think there's going to be people who will always wear masks. Now. Like, it doesn't even matter if you don't have to. They're going to be paranoid, and that's what they're going to do. So there's always going to be this industry for masks, and they're going to get more and more clever and more and more. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. going to become a part of our culture. culture. And, well, and it I keep has thinking been about, in other cult- countries for a long time. I was also thinking about, like, uh, people who just got face work done. I just got my lips done, and now they have to... <laughs> Right. They just got Botox and then, right. you know, well, yes. Well, we have a few minutes. We can wait. We can just stand here. And okay, I just don't want to forget. I want to at least look like I... We're not going to forget. Your pull. Pull. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing tug of war with a bag. Yeah, we have this cute little thing on the boat. You know, a little bone, whatever they call it. A little bag thing. See? Thank you. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, so... Lisbeth says it's 93 degrees there. Okay. Very hot weather for the Netherlands. Oh, it's there. You mean. Yes, it's yeah, a that record of seven days. Wow. Hello yes, from down under. Yay. I'm trying to do all this one handed. Yes. And I don't have to. I can just wait until we're done. Put the That's phone right. in my pocket, do it with two hands. But no, I like to live on the edge, push yes. myself to my limits, yes. try things that. What are we looking at here? I bet. I love. Okay. Love your videos. Yeah. Yay. Awesome. 
spray. Uh, getting clear plastic full. Oh yeah, so that's, I've seen a lot of that. The, yeah, the where you can actually still bars, see the yes, face. Which is really great. If it works. But so. the, I don't know because it's like, you know, you're still inhaling underneath the mat, underneath the plastic, but. I think all the existing I, I arguments know. pro and con will always exist. I, I, it's yeah. gonna be weird to see what happens is. in society. I just like to stay at home. <laughs> it's true. Until this ceiling just blows over. Tell everyone what you did yesterday. Why are we oh, I'm so yes. Finally went back to the eye doctor, and she's awesome. She is she's awesome. a tell it like it is. I love her. It was a trip. Yeah, it was a trip, but it felt really, really good in her hands, and we settled the yes. contact lens debate once and for all. Once and for all, it is no not contacts. a fit for me, and at my age, don't do it. Yeah. So I finally, uh, so we got a prescription for progressives coming which I've always resisted in the past and she went on to say exactly why it was probably too there's a there's a swarm of hummingbirds over there um, why it probably didn't work for me before and it was too early and most people prescribe them too early and then they don't like them and blah 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 but then you reach the point in your life where it's like enough is enough I cannot you know stand up another day give me the progressives and I'll get used to them and that's where I am in my life so by the end of this week Early next week, Early or whatever, next week we'll have new glasses. I will have new glasses, which will allow me to See. like my life again. Hopefully. I love my life. No, I like but just not the seeing part. Yeah. It's making me crazy. Yeah. All right. I think so, we've done it. I'm excited. Nope. Bum. Dun, 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 well, if you sing the song. Dun, no. dun, 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 dun. Oh, they get. Yeah. See, we, we're the same. What's and that? that uh, temperatures in the hundreds, 115 is horrible. Yeah, we get that hot too. We do. But it's really dry here. I don't know if it's dry by you, like humid or not humid. Because here. 115 humid would be. Uh, I, I cannot even imagine. I mean, 90 humid is worse, I think, than 110 non humid. Totally. It's just. Even the 80s. Dripping. Atlanta Ugh. in the summer, no way. Yeah. I would take. I would take 100 plus in the desert over 85 plus in Atlanta any day. I, I completely agree Ugh. with you, yes. Yes, and then the mosquitoes and all the other stuff that comes along with humidity. And the accent. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> all right, we have to stop okay. now. The dog's making me crazy. We love you guys. Uh, see you, uh, tune in at 11 o'clock in the group. Hashtag 300 wishlist. We love you. We'll see you later.